Kyle Duffield here, interactive, experienced artist and designer and Mac certified trainer. Today I'm going to talk to you about Cycling 74's brand new add-on for Macs, Rainbow. But what is Rainbow exactly? So Rainbow's really, really, really cool. If you're used to MSP and coding in the Max environment, what Rainbow does is it's almost like a mini environment within Max, where you could take a lot of the code and conventions that we've learned, but we can do something very special with that, which is we can export it to various targets. So what we mean by that is um, I can code something in a very Max-like friendly language, and I can now export that and make my own external Max object. Or I can take that same code and export it into a VST or audio unit for use in other applications. Or I can take that same code and export it onto a Raspberry Pi. Or I can take that same code and export it into a web page with JavaScript or a C++ library. So what this means is the Max environment is now very dynamic in the way that it can integrate with other applications. And the reusability of the code will be really awesome, I think, for the community. So today what I'm going to do is we're going to talk about how to build a very simple audio recorder. We're going to be able to play it back and we're going to be able to manipulate it and maybe even uh, play a couple notes using a MIDI keyboard to control the pitch. So let's do that. So this is meant to be more of an overview of the Rainbow workflow and what's involved, how the pieces fit together rather than a very detailed tutorial. So the first thing we do need to do is to get Rainbow. So to do that, you want to go to the Max's package manager, type in RN, BO, select it, and when you're ready, click install. And once it's installed, you will be good to go. Once installed, we need to access the Rainbow environment. And to do that, it's very similar to Gen. We type in RNBO tilde. And we have this new window that pops up. And this is really cool. What's important about this is this is the rainbow environment that we're going to be developing in. So it looks like Max, but you'll also see there's some extra little features here, which uh, I'm not going to go entirely into as much as just show you uh, how this relates to each other and relates to Max. So the uh, mini objective today, just as an overview, is what would an audio sampler look like in rainbow versus straight up MSP? Well. If I make a new object in Rainbow, we'll notice that it's blue, okay, versus the traditional uh, gray max objects. And the there's a few objects I would want to do to create this, but the uh, key one is the record object. I'm just gonna give it a, my buffer name. And if I go to the help file, this looks very similar to the record MSP object, except everything is blue. You'll notice it says Rainbow Record, but we have selector, we have our noise and cycle oscillators, we have our buffer, we have groove, uh, we have a gain slider. So this all should look very, very familiar if you have experience with MSP. Here's a more flushed out audio recorder, right? I spent a bit of time and rather than getting into the detail of how to build this from scratch, I want to focus more on what this workflow looks like and what some of the differences are between MSP and Rainbow. So something that you might immediately notice if you're familiar with Max is these param objects. Now, why do these exist? So this is our Rainbow window. And if I pop out here into our top level patcher, we can see that we have Rainbow. I titled it Meow Mixer. You'll also notice that I have messages with a name and a value. So if I go back to my rainbow environment, what's very important to be aware of is messages can't contain uh, symbols. So for example, if we're used to uh, maybe turning on loop for groove, if I type in loop dollar sign one, right, this would be pretty common. If I do this, we get a bunch of messages of doom saying we can't do that, saying only numbers are allowed in messages. So these parameters 
what they do is they allow Rainbow to talk to the outside world. Because remember, a lot of the way Rainbow is used is to export it so it can be used and integrated with other applications and protocols. So we can use MIDI to control uh, a Rainbow patch, or we can use OSC as a communication protocol. Pram we have, you'll see, at name rec. And if I go back to my top level patch here, we can see that this um, rec message with a dollar sign one in the top level is actually corresponding to this parameter object. The other thing you'll notice here is that uh, instead of using messages inside of Rainbow like the way we would, we have loop here, uh, we have to use a set message into the objects we want to control where we may have values. So parameters allow us to um, have values that can be seen to the outside world, outside of our rainbow land, and set is used internally within rainbow to set the um, parameters of objects. So we can see here I have my rainbow environment, and then I have my top level patcher. And I can actually use these controls through these parameters and messages to um, talk to my objects within Rainbow. So I'm going to hit record. Meow. Okay, we could see that record was recording. And we can next see where I have playback. I have a message. So if I click, uh, I'm going to hit loop. And you'll see that, again, it's talking inside. I'm going to hit playback. Right. And we can hear that this is playing back. So another thing is I added loop points so I could change, you know, when the loop starts and stops. Whoops. Um, we could uh, use something like a case slider to send values. Um, and if I had an external MIDI keyboard and did a couple tweaks to the code inside, I could even hook that up. So the next thing we're going to do is look at how to export to a target. I'm going to stop that. So if I go in uh, over to the right, we see a little menu that says show export sidebar. I click that and for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to export a max external. We can also export a plugin, C++, JavaScript, I had a Raspberry Pi connected. We could also export to that. I'm going to name this Meow Mixer. That's going to be my external. And next, I click Export to Selected Target. And when I click this, what Mac is going to do, it's going to sit there. It's going to compile, and this may take a moment. So once it's finished compiling, this means it's in a rainbow-generated folder in our Max packages. And yeah, so now I can use my Meow Mixer as an external. And let's just test it, make sure it works just like our rainbow. And the difference here though is now this is all compiled and baked in, right? If we wanted to update this external, we would need to go back into rainbow and re-export it. So let's just give it a test, see if we're meowing. Okay, meow, 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 meow. I'm gonna turn on loop and play it back. And I'm going to change the looping points. I'm going to try the transposition. Oops. Don't know how that came disconnected. There we go. And awesome! We successfully made a little rainbow audio recorder and we're able to record it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that brief overview of what we can do with Rainbow.